What's popping to the tip? It's your girl, Chelsea, back with another video. And in this video, y'all, I'm about to tell you how to create your own stunts. So I know y'all tend to see me do a lot of different stunts. A lot of stunts I teach are the ones that are basically known. Like the death drop, the uh, the toe touch, or for a walkover. These are basically stunts that y'all, everybody typically already knows. So I'm about to tell y'all how you can create your own stunt combos or even your own stunts. So pay attention. So, so. Basically, think of your favorite move you like to do, right? Have that in your head. So, for example, one of my favorite moves is a death drop. It's just so cool and not that many people can do it, but it is also very dangerous. I heard a lot of people tell me you can hurt your tailbone, your back, or your hands. You can hurt so much, like, different things. I have a smile on my face, but we're serious. You can actually hurt yourself. You gotta figure out your starting position of your stunt and then you need to figure out your ending position. For example, when you do a death job, what is your starting position? I'm gonna have the video over here. You are standing up. You're gonna bend down a little bit, like almost like you're crouching down, and you're gonna jump back. So basically, when you jump back, your legs are closed. So the way I tend to end mine is I'm basically laying on the floor. You know how basically some people sleep, but they're, they sleep on your back. So keep that in mind, right? How can I leave from that stunt to the next stunt? That is how your mind needs to always be like, okay, what can I do that would look, work smoothly? You don't want to do something where you do a stunt and you're going to pause before you get into your next stunt. That's not smooth. That's not elegant. That is sloppy. You don't want your stunts to be sloppy. So what did I do? Because I showed you the stunt before. I did a fish tail. So, if y'all don't know what a fish tail is, I'm gonna tell y'all and I'm gonna show y'all. Basically, you're gonna roll back. So you're gonna choose which side you wanna roll back on. You can choose your right shoulder or your left shoulder. You're basically gonna roll your entire body back. So now, this next position, I'm basically on my stomach. There's multiple different ways of how you can get up from that move as well. Like I said, this is how you gotta think. You gotta think stunt by stunt, beginning to end, in order for your stunts to go smoothly. That is my mindset when I am creating a stunt combo or even trying to think of some cool stunts to do. So that is one example, doing a dev job into that. In order to do a stunt combo, Think of start to finish of the first stunt. What is your initial position of that stunt? How do you end in that stunt? What could you do right after that stunt to go to the next stunt? You have to think like that. You can also think of it like when people are cheerleaders. I'm gonna tell you the basic move. Do a cartwheel, then do a back handspring. Do a cartwheel, do a round off. They're thinking from beginning to end constantly. That is how you create stunt combos. I hope this video is helpful. I hope y'all took something from this video. That is my goal to help y'all become the best dancers so y'all can make stuff up on your own. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up in the down bar below. Do not forget to subscribe. Your girl uploads every single week. Uh, we're getting back to the double uploads, sometimes even triple uploads, but we're getting back to the normal, regular schedule of how I used to be. But yeah, if there's any video ideas that you guys want me to film, make sure you comment them down below. I do read all my comments. You can say anything. I don't mind. And like I said at the end of all my videos, be raw, be real, be you. And we're officially guests up my loves. Bye.